Okay. And hey, everyone, welcome to the top three things you need to know. My name is Father Christian. Next to me is your communications team. Um, we're missing Art Lore, who is a, a valuable member of this team as well. And then Brandon Glick is also a liaison who helps with this team. So you're looking at the folks who do help bring everything to life with when it comes to hard copy and digital news and events, good news daily website stuff. They're awesome. And so I'm going to allow each one to talk about uh, we each got a, an important thing you need to know this week for the T3T. And let's start it off when we talk about everything is about new members and hospitality and loving on people. Um, so, Mark, can you introduce yourself to people who don't know who you are and tell us about the first thing we need to know? Hi, my name is Mark Heyer. I am a member of the Vestry and I'm a new member. I'm the new member liaison. And we are going to have uh, two uh, new member gatherings uh, coming up soon. Uh, the first one will be um, Sunday, December 5th at 11.15 a.m. And the second one will be January 2nd at 10.15 a.m. And this is an opportunity for uh, new members or anyone who's interested in becoming a member uh, to gather together and get to know each other, uh, meet the clergy and uh, some vestry members and uh, ask questions about um, everything that's going on here at St. Mary's, which is a lot. So that's the number one thing this week. The number one thing you need to know. So please come if you're new or newish. And most importantly, we just want to get to know you. All right. Now to my left on my screen um, is, is a woman who has a, a, a lot going on because she is everywhere and anywhere around this campus. Uh, will you please introduce yourself and tell them what the number two thing they need to know okay. is? I am Jeannie Dupel, and the number two thing this week is we're going to start our tea time with Father T. So Father Todd will be in Smith Hall after the Thursday services the next three weeks, reflecting on his spiritual journey, and he'll also be referencing the pauses for Advent, which is the book that the clergy are going to be using for their sermon series, and you can uh, obtain one in the office for $10. That's right. And so join us on Thursdays. What do you do around here, around campus? Yeah, I'm the rector's warden for the vestry. So. That's right. We're so grateful. Okay. Uh, the number three thing you need to know is that it is Advent time. So we do the uh, annual Advent walk. So that'll be on December 11th at 10 a.m. There's about 10 churches that all come together. And it really has become a, a, a wonderful ecumenical moment for us to celebrate our faith community together uh, and also love on our community. So we go to 10 different locations, pray over them. We'll be praying this year for the police department, the fire department, Salvation Army. And when every time we go to one of these locations, someone from that respective location comes out and leads the prayer. So it's also a great community building exercise. And so that's what we do as Christians. We help build community and create healthy community. Um, so we'll be doing that on December 11th at 10 a.m. All right, my friends, uh, those are the top three things you need to know. I'm grateful for Mark and for Jeannie for joining me on this. They had no idea they're about to do this <laughs> today. I just said, let's do this. So God bless you and see you here on church, here at church in person very soon. Peace. Okay, you guys are great. <laughs>